All right guys, so the sub 250 category has been extremely popular with enthusiasts and manufacturers alike. And today we have one new entry. This is the X935 by Beta FPV. They decided to join the 3.5 sub 250 category in drones. So let's take a look at this and see if this thing is right for you. Okay, so here's the box here, Beta FPV. Pretty small box actually, but not much on here, just some branding on here. It has the x Night Series logo on the front here. And on the back here, it has the x Night 35 toothpick, quad, and it says TBS on here. Now this drone comes in three different flavors. It comes in the TBS, it comes with the Express LRS, which is amazing. I mean, Beta FPV is one of the first mainstream companies to actually include Express LRS in their bind and fly drones. And then you have a plug and play where there's no receiver, and then you can either use your DJI controller or just add a receiver to the flight controller here. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Got my unboxing knife here. Try not to damage this thing as usual. Throw that to the side. Ooh, nice. All right. <laughs> All right, so we have our Beta FPV card here. A lot of manufacturers are doing this now, just a QC card. You can scan and go to their social media sites. Beta FPV, you have a whole bunch of props in here. It looks like six props in here. And if I remember correctly, you have two different brands here, one from HQ and one from Gemfan, so pretty cool. All right, so here's the drone right here. Pretty nice, straightforward. I just like this experience. Really protected, as you can see here with the foam. So let's pull this out. Hopefully, we're not gonna break this and put this down and that's all you get is a foam. Pretty straightforward, basic boxing here. And yeah, this thing is really nice guys, but this category is so exciting, so interesting. You can do a lot with this. These drones usually perform like a five inch drone and yeah, you don't have to register these things. So anyways, let's take a look at it. Most of the stuff here is already installed. I see a battery pad here, a mat right here, pretty good. Carbon fiber everywhere. Um, you have these protectors here for the camera, which is pretty cool. On this side, you have the Vista system right here, which is all digital. Now this x Night 35 <laughs> does not come in an analog version. It's only digital. So that could be a good or bad thing, but it is pricier to have a digital system. And the price of this also goes up because you also have to have digital accessories like a digital goggles. Uh, very stealthy, that's the first thing I noticed. Most of the times these drones are colorful and tend to just pop, but this thing looks pretty cool in this color. Let's go around the drone here. The first thing I notice here is just the carbon fiber. Top plate is pretty cool, bottom plate is a little bit thicker. It is a one piece bottom plate. If you do break this thing, then you do have to get a new bottom piece here. Since I'm looking at this right here, I also see some TPU legs here on the bottom. And I think that's a cool touch. A lot of the three and a half inch drones don't come with that. And I know it does add some weight, but I think for the longevity of this drone, that's a really important and cool touch. As I said before, it does add some weight in here. Besides that, you have these motors here. These are the 14 to four. Now a lot of three and a half inch drones use this motor size here. These are 3,800 kV motors. If these are like any of the other three and a half inch drones in the market, these should be plenty enough for acro maneuvers and uh, just punch out. So we'll see how that goes. Besides that, it looks really nice. You have these covers here for the wires going to the motors, really, really nice and they are Black. Now this uh, flight controller really sticks out here. Going around to the back here, uh, we have this battery strap and it's pretty cool. This is pretty typical of Beta FPV and it has that reflective material on here. No big deal there. Coming around to the back, you have this big TPU mount in the back here and that's where all your connections and antennas are mounted. In this case, this is the TBS version. So I see my TBS Nano receiver back here and you have your circular polarized antenna here. This is the left hand for the DJI system. Since this only comes in the digital version, we have our XT30 plug here. Looks like at a pretty decent location, nothing crazy on here. And as I said before, we have our Immortal T antenna. Looks a little different and I've never seen a blue one on here. This kind of looks almost like the Express LRS antennas. Take a look at this guys, it's pretty interesting. Just the small detail, I like the small details in drones here. But take a look at this, the antenna goes into the TPU mount here. There's a special hole here or a pathway for the antenna and that keeps it steady. So you can see this one here is kind of out. If I were to just line this up and push it in here, then it should go in here and that's pretty cool. That's a really nice touch by Beta FPV. Um, this thing is gonna be very, very sturdy. 
Uh, besides that, in the back here, I see a capacitor, which is awesome. Most drones have this. This one here has a all-in-one uh, flight controller. This is the F4 flight controller with the 20 amp ESCs in here. So that should be adequate, a little bit lower than some of the other manufacturers, but we'll see how these motors behave with that kind of power output or current draw. And coming to the front here, you have kind of the, the new kit on the block. This is a digital system. This is the Vista Polar by Cadix. And it's a pretty cool camera. This is a Starlight camera, really specializing in low light filming. This camera here should do very well. I'm hoping it does very well, but it's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing about this camera is that it's uh, recessed a little bit back. In fact, it may not be recessed actually. I do think the camera is in its normal position. I just do think that they have some guards and protectors on the side that extends out a little bit further to protect it. Now, having said that, this camera here is a little further than normal. Um, usually the camera is mounted in this part here, the standoffs. Because of this extension here, the props will not be in view. So technically you could use this camera and this system here to do some recording, which is a pretty cool touch, and they thought about that. Besides that, the frame is pretty cool. It looks like an X, a traditional X here actually, but you do have these bracings at the bottom here, and I'm sure that uh, increases structural rigidity which is good if you do have to crash this thing. And uh, I mean, we don't tend to crash it, but in case you do crash it, uh, it does add some added protection. Inside of here, we talked about the flight controller, F4, and everything seems to be conveniently located. Now I'm looking for the port here for the actual flight controller. Okay, I see it right here, and that's pretty accessible. Micro USB here, you can plug this into Betaflight so you can tune and add some features to that. On the other side here, you have your USB-C plug here, and that's for your Vista, so you can activate and bind to your goggles and your controller. This is, uh, I, I think, a, a pretty extensive drone here, meaning I've seen some other manufacturers with less things on the drone, and it still weighs around, let's say, 250 or sub-250. Now, <laughs> Beta FEV is claiming with the recommended battery, this takes a 4S battery, as I said before, an XT30 plug here. Um, they recommend a 750 milliamp hour battery, and with that, they're expecting between 7 and 13 minutes. That's a huge number, guys. That's pretty impressive. Now, I don't know if you can get that. Now, they do say that that's for, you know, smooth flying, um, maybe just hovering, but just smooth cinematic, nice smooth flying, you get up to 13 minutes. That is crazy for in the FPV world. You're not reaching, you know, flight times of DJI camera drones, and that's pretty impressive. Now I have a, like a DJI Spark, and that thing, yes, it's an older drone. They claim 15 to 20 minutes, and I get around 12 to 13 minutes. So if this thing can do 12 to 13 minutes, hey man, that's, pre that's pretty impressive. So I'm looking forward to testing that out and seeing how accurate those flight times are. I've also tested some other three and a half inch drones, and they flew pretty great, guys. So this is a really exciting segment in that category. And um, hopefully, I mean, I'm not pushing for the 250 or the sub 250 drones, but it does make life a little bit easier when you go fly in a public space and uh, maybe someone wants to question, hey, is this drone legal? Where's your registration? If this is sub 250, there's none of those issues. No one has to question your motives, question if you're legal or not. For me, I, it, it's, it's here or there, it doesn't really matter. I'm kind of indecisive about that. But I do think they are helping a lot of people, not only in the US, but other countries where there's probably stricter rules as far as drones being over 250 grams. So yeah, guys, uh, as far as the first impressions, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, next video here, we are gonna do the setup on first flight. We're gonna put the propellers in here, go on beta flight, see what's in here, make sure this thing is all tuned out, and then go for a flight and see how this thing flies. So if you're interested in that video, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I do post that video, guys. So anyways, Tell me what you think about this joint in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all these companies making two or sub 250 gram drones. If you have any questions about this, leave them down below as well. I will happily answer those. See ya guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Flight X, Flight 35, X Knight, X Knight, X Knight, X Knight, Dark Knight. <laughs> thunder, thunder, thunder. FPV, FPV. Night 35 by Beta FPV. Come on, Thunder. Ah, oh, just let me make a video. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. All right, so let's uh, put this down and uh, do some B-roll.